Sing praise to our God, all you who fear God, both small and great. For now salvation and strength have come and the power of his Christ. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you show us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who open wide the gates of the heavenly kingdom to those reborn of water and the Holy Spirit, pour out on your servants an increase of the grace you have bestowed, that having been purged of all sins, they may lack nothing that in your kindness you have bestowed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen said to the people, the elders and the scribes, you stiff-necked people, uncircumcised in heart and ears. You always oppose the Holy Spirit. You are just like your ancestors. Which of the prophets did your ancestors not persecute? They put to death those who foretold the coming of the righteous one, whose betrayers and murderers you have now become. You receive the law as transmitted by angels, but you did not observe it. When they heard this, they were infuriated, and they ground their teeth at him. But Stephen, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked up intently to heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. And Stephen said, Behold, I see the heavens opened and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. But they cried out in a loud voice, covered their ears, and rushed upon him together. They threw him out of the city and began to stone him. The witnesses laid down their cloaks at the feet of a young man named Saul. As they were stoning Stephen, he called out, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he fell to his knees and cried out in a loud voice, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. And when he said this, he fell asleep. Now Saul was consenting to his execution. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm, into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. O Lord, I commend my spirit. Be my rock of refuge a stronghold to give me safety. You are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, you will lead and guide me. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. My trust is in the Lord. I will rejoice and be glad of your mercy. Into your hands I commend my spirit. Let your face shine upon your servant. Save me 
in your kindness. You hide them in the shelter of your presence from the plottings of men. Into your hands I commend my spirit. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The crowd said to Jesus, What sign can you do that we may see and believe in you? What can you do? Our ancestors ate manna in the desert, as it is written, He gave them bread from heaven to eat. So Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you. It was not Moses who gave the bread from heaven. My Father gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. So they said to Jesus, Sir, give us this bread always. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. The Gospel of the Lord. Yesterday we heard about the beginning of the martyrdom of this early deacon, Stephen, and today we're hearing about his martyrdom. And something pretty amazing happens when he's martyred. As they were stoning Stephen, he called out, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. He says the same thing Jesus said on the cross. Jesus said, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. He fell to his knees and cried out in a a loud voice, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. So just imagine... This crowd is, has condemned you to death for something you didn't do, for a false accusation, and you're being stoned to death, and you just look up and say, Lord, don't hold this sin against them. And as if to communicate how much peace he has, it doesn't say he dies. It says he fell asleep. So there must have been something that was deeply peaceful about St. Stephen, that gave him the ability, in the midst of all of this anger around him and this violence, uh, to be at peace, to offer forgiveness, and to commend these people to God. And we know that Saul, who later became St. Paul, was standing here when this happened, watching it happen, approving of it happen, and that he later became one of the greatest witnesses that Christ has ever had. So the question is, how do we get this peace that St. Stephen had? Peace is not just when everything finally calms down. It's not an end of conflict. It's something deeper than that. It's a supernatural gift. It's not something we can create on our own. It's something we need God to give to us. It's one of the gifts of the Holy Spirit. This crowd asks Jesus, what sign can you do that we may see and believe in you? What sign could God give us that he is really God? If he were to bestow peace, that would be a real sign. Peace in any of our hearts. Father Patterson was saying last week in his homily uh, that something that takes away our fear, or the reason we think, the reason we're afraid a lot of the time is because we think we are alone. Uh, And the reason that we do not have to be afraid is because there is someone with us. Jesus says, I am the true bread come down from heaven.
we stand and we offer our God our petitions and our prayers. For the church throughout the world, in thanksgiving and in petition for those newly baptized and for those who are preparing for the sacrament of confirmation at Pentecost, we pray to the Lord. Lord, We pray for peace in our world and peace in our nation, for an end to all forms of violence around us, exteriorly and in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, We pray for those who are sick and suffering. We pray for those who are anxious and depressed, those who feel like they have no peace, those who feel alone. We pray to the Lord. Lord, We pray for those who have died, that they will experience the peace of Christ and the heavenly kingdom. In particular, we pray for Christopher Goyette, for whom this Mass is offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord, and for your own intentions. God, our Father, source of all life, pour into our hearts the gift of the Holy Spirit, who sends peace and freedom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church. And as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. you Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy 
Every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Edward, our Bishop, Howard, our Bishop of Mary, the clergy, the divinities, and all the Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in their mercy. Welcome them into the light of their faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, the Lord of God, the blessed Joseph, the spouse, with the blessed apostles, and with all the saints who have faith you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called heirs of eternal life, and may pray to glorify you. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. Take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. If we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with Christ. Alleluia. Alleluia.
Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thank you for being here, and have a good day. Let's give a warm welcome back to our good friend, Kate Brimmer. <laughs> Kate had a bad fall several months ago and broke her hip, but she fully recovered, and so she's wearing a smile this morning and very happy to be back.